Today I'm going to show you how to make an animatic. First of all, we'll want to make sure that we keep all of our materials in the same folder because when we build this in Premiere, it uses reference files. What we're going to do is I've taken my Word file and I've taken each page and I've made a PDF of it. And so here's my page one PDF. And what we're going to do is we are going to open that in Photoshop. Open with Photoshop. Click on that. And that will bring your project into here. We will click the marquee tool and I'm going to click and hold and drag the image to where I want it. And I'm going to go image crop. And I'm going to go file save as. I'm going to direct it to my storyboard images and I'll call it Untitled 1. I've decided to work in PNG. You can also work in TIFF or JPEG and drop it in there. Okay, Hit Save and then I'm going to just go up here into the history. I'm going to go back one until it's back to the normal size and then I will do the marquee tool on the second image and continue until they are all saved and they're all they need to all be approximately the same size for this to work really easily. So next we will open up Premiere, File, New Project. We will browse and we will put that on our desktop in our animatic folder so everything is contained. I will call it Bergerson Animatic. Click OK. Now we are inside Premiere. I'm going to double click in the project folder, bring in my images, and I'm going to, they're in the order that I want them to be, so I'm just going to click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, and I'm going to drag them into the panel, hit the backslash key to make it fill the frame, and so we'll see that basically each, the, the default is it's bringing in a five second file. And, but we ultimately need a project that's exactly 30 seconds long. Okay. Next thing I'm going to bring in is my finished audio. You guys might need to do your audio editing here in Premiere, so I'm going to import that. And I'm going to drop that into my project. And I'm going to pull the tracks down so that I can see a little bit better. And so now I've got my finished audio, and I just need to cut my picture down to size, and I'm going to cut to the beat. Oh, that snap. And you'll just kind of keep editing down until you get the proper length. And then when your editing is done, you will export your project, file export media. You will name it uh, with your name. Send it to that same file. If you are dealing in uh, a 16 by 9 project, which you probably are, you'll want to pick Apple Pro or it's 422 Lite. My project happens to be 4x3, so I'm going to click DV25 NTSC, and that'll create a, a low res 4x3 file. I'll hit export, save all of this, and let's take a look at the animatic, see how it turned out. All right. And that's what you will present in class.